Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is sign into Google Chrome. So if you look at the top right here, it's a sign in. And I'm going to choose an account. Now you might have to enter your information first. Uh, it's, it automatically saves mine. And now we're signed in. Next up, we're going to work on bookmarking. So let's say you want to find a, a page, let's say Khan Academy. And here it says uh, free online courses. And let's say I want to bookmark ConAcademy.org. All I have to do is go to this little star right here, press bookmark this page, and it's done. Now, if you want to see where it is, it's here in the back because I already have a, a bunch of things bookmarked. So let me remove one. I'll right click here, I'll delete this bookmark. And now you can see Khan Academy pops up. And here it is, right at the top. Now let's say you want to create a new, uh, 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 let's say you want to create a bookmark folder. You're going to go here to where it says more. Go down, go to bookmarks, and bookmark manager. You could also see a list of, of other bookmarks that you have. For example, I already have one folder here that says career, and it has a bunch of different stuff, a uh, bunch of different bookmarks that I put in. Um, but let's say you want to create a, a new one. You go to Bookmark Manager at the very top, Organize, and it says Add New Folder. So I'm going to create a new folder. We'll say Khan Academy Bookmarks, Save, and here we have a new, uh, new folder, Khan Academy Bookmarks. Now let's go back to where we were at Khan Academy, and let's say I click on Early Math place values and here I am at a new page and let's say I want to save this one uh, place values again I can go to this bookmark this page and where do I want to put it now well there's now there's a Khan, Ac Khan Academy bookmark folder so I'll press this I'll press done and now let's go take a look at that folder we'll go back down to bookmarks Khan Academy bookmarks and there it is, place value tens and hundreds. And you can also um, delete from here. If I right click, I can delete the original Khan Academy bookmark. That goes away. And from here, you can always manage your bookmarks. This is your bookmark, bookmark uh, manager. Now at the top here, you'll see a Google search bar. And this is also called the Omni box. And you can ask it a, a bunch of questions. For example, um, five times. 35 5 times 45 enter and it automatically calculates it for you right there other functions of the omni box are just define words idiosyncrasy idiosyncrasy and there you have it right there so it's it's a dictionary on site now let's say you type in um, you just want to know a quick results for uh, baseball games type in MLB and right at the top, you get games and scores and news, standings, all real quick. Now, let's say um, you want to use incognito mode and you want to know how to get to incognito mode. Again, you go over here to more. You can scroll down, up a little bit, and you see it says new incognito window. You press this button right here. And now you've gone into incognito mode. So basically, you can browse privately, and other people's other people who use this device they won't see your activity. So you can Google, um, let's say, um, plant cells, and you're doing this in incognito mode. So if somebody goes back and looks at your history, um, they won't know that you're you're googling uh, and you're searching uh, plant biology. Now, um, lastly, we're gonna install and uninstall extensions and apps from the Chrome Web Store. So let's go to the Chrome Web Store. And here we are right at the top. So you have to enter the Chrome Web Store. From here you have different themes and extensions. Now let's say you want to add an extension. Scroll down, find one. One that I, I heard a lot about was Grammarly. And here it is. So I'm just going to quickly go to Add to Chrome. 
it can read your data you have to accept this and add the extension and here it is if you take a look up the top here here here's where you'll find your extensions these are some other extensions that I have and you can take a look at some more extensions by going to more tools extensions and here you'll see some Chrome apps at the bottom I've got the Google Keep app and if you go up these are all extensions um, I have player piano from a long time ago let's say you want to remove that you quickly press remove and it's gone and you could actually get rid of um you can actually get rid of an uninstalled extensions from right up here as well I'm gonna right click I'm gonna remove from Chrome remove and if you take a look it's gone from up here you can go back to more tools extensions there's no grammarly